All right, we're back with another Losing Lives episode. Let's go ahead and kick it off with our song. Three lives down. You got enough in there to finish me off? One way to find out. Gross. Not good. That was the first time you heard that, huh? Really? Really? That's the first time? (laughs) You don't listen to these episodes. He's a (laughs) douchebag. You don't? You have time on your hands, Eric. I listen to them sometimes. 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 When the mood strikes him, right? When the rain's falling. (laughs) And he touches himself ever so gently. (laughs) Listening to our voices caress his brain. (laughs) When when it's a a very lonely night. A very lonely night for Eric. Simple lonely night. So what's up, man? We got uh, Eric uh, coming on the uh, episode with us again. You was on our Who's Next episode last time, and now you're doing our Losing Lives. Um, You're getting some time off from the kitchen and uh, doing some podcasting. And I'm back. Yep. And then, yeah, Ryan's back. Of course, Ryan's back. You got Ryan back. Ryan's always here. I yeah, like how the he... mood changed. Like, yeah, Ryan's back. Yeah, Ryan's here. <laughs> Ryan's here. Ryan, you never really left, so you can't really be back. You you weren't really in yeah. the last Who's Next you, episode, you but there. you were definitely you were in the last Losing Lives episode. You were there, but you wasn't there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's not get You was in there with spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Your soul was there. <laughs> I knew I left something. Spirit, let's hear it. <laughs> Your body was just an empty shell with you in a spiritual plane. Yeah, so, all right. Oni Chambra. Oni Chambra. The bikini, what was it? The bikini, the bikini samurai squad? Bikinis, uh, yeah. Bikini I've, samurai squad. Now, I found that kind of funny. The bikini samurai yeah, the, squad. Yeah, bikini samurai and the reason squad. why I found that funny was there because was it, one in a bikini. there was only one girl in, in a bikini, bikini that used a sword. Right. right? So, yeah. it's not a squad. But the movie was called Samurai Squad. That's what threw me off too, because mm-hmm. they got a game. The game was actually that movie was actually based on the game. Yeah. Uh, Only Chambra Bikini Samurai Squad. And there now, was, Eric, there you have a one, little more in the game. So, in the game, is there like more women in bikinis with well, swords? Well, see, I didn't play. I didn't play uh, this one. Uh, Only Chambra Bikini uh, Zombie Squad. I mean, there's yeah. more than one. Yeah, that's yeah, that's like four different games. Jesus, what I have is I have Oni Chambra Z Chaos, and on that one, yeah, uh, Aya, the main character. Well, she's not the main character in this one. Uh, there's four. There's actually uh, five different girls in that one. Oh, okay. And uh, this one, the movie was based off the the game, uh, the Samurai Squad. What was one of them? Uh, which didn't one of them have like a uh, a tight schoolgirl outfit with a samurai sword? Well, that yeah. was her sister. Her yeah, sister that was her sister. And you know, in the in the movie here, she's kind of like the villain, mm-hmm. but in the game, she's actually like I think is she a playable character? At least in the one you have. Yeah, in the one I have, yeah, she's a playable character. And she's more like a hero. Like she's on the good side. Like yeah. her and her sister Aya go around oh, fighting these zombie creatures. Plot and stuff. twist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the movie though decided to make her a villain for some reason. Because I even went and watched some of the um, the cutscenes that they put together um, for from the game from the, I think the earlier game in the PlayStation Three I think is the one that they had came out and the three sixty I got, think it came they out. They got right. a PlayStation Two version too. Okay, so I want to say I got the three and the three sixty version is what I saw on YouTube, and it looked like that's what the movie because the movie. This movie has an opening sequence where they show scenes from the game, and it's from that game from the 360 and PlayStation 3 version, from my understanding, from what I saw. Now, Eric, can you describe a little bit of at least the game that you're playing, which may not be the game when this was out, because this movie came out, I think, in 2008. Mm -hmm. So what's the kind of storyline from the game perspective? Man, it's been a while since I played that game, bro. Don't be stupid. But you picked it. Yeah, yeah, I got it because I was interested in it because I, I always wanted to play the the Only Chambra uh, Bikini Zombie Slayer series, but I never got around to doing it because I missed out on the first one. Well, not the first one, but I, I discovered it when it was on the Wii. 
Okay. And I never got around to playing, and I always wanted to play it. And then mm-hmm. I found out that it was making it for the PS4. What kind of gameplay is it like? It's What's a hack and slash. Hack so, and slash? It's, so it's pretty much like Dynasty Warriors. It's, nah, it ain't Dynasty Warriors. They throw zombies at you. It ain't. It ain't. So it's like Dynasty Warriors. It's Cry. It's kind of more like Devil May Cry. Yeah, Devil May Cry. Where you got your sections and all, and you fight enemies and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You so got some flashy. So, you got flashy combos. They got super moves and all mm-hmm. that. They got combo counters and yeah. So We're it's kind of like Dynasty Warriors with zombies. No, nah, it ain't Dynasty Warriors. No, it's not Dynasty. I'm sorry, I, Dynasty- have, I have Dynasty Warriors on the brain. Yeah. <laughs> Dynasty Warriors is something different. That's like a massive scale hack. I mean, it is kind of it, hack it is, and slash. It's, it's, it's classified as a hack and because slash. Because I feel like it should be. A it's, plus. it's linear. It's it's more linear. Like double there's surprise. a storyline. I, I feel like with this more. game, with this game, should be a squad, right? Of bikini-clad women. Yeah. Fighting a whole hordes of zombies. Well, why don't you go make that game? All right, I'll, let me get started. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we, we have work to do, fellas. <laughs> well, uh, so as far as the game goes, um, I mean, I don't have much experience with it, uh, but it looks like they just came out with one for the PlayStation Four, so it's still kind of kicking around, mm-hmm. and it has some sort of following. Yeah. I guess if you put bikini-clad girls with swords. Somebody's gonna follow that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah schoolgirl outfit. Yeah, because I was slightly interested in the beginning scene. Well, at first I was like, I have no idea what the fuck is going on because I've never even played it. Yeah. Like, until she popped up and she threw her robe off, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, I am now. Not, With now the I'm cowboy now. hat, that's what kills me. The cowboy <laughs> hat and then the the bikini gear. All right, this is one now. Get into this movie now. Well, I mean, we talked a little bit about the game, what we know about it. The movie was so... It was played so serious when your main character is a girl in a bikini slicing zombies. Right. That This movie should have went for a completely different tone. You, you'd have to really understand this is like a joke. Right, like the game might have a serious plot, and it, I'm not saying the game is a joke or the idea of this game is a joke or the movie, but it's like, come on now, you got a girl in a bikini with a samurai sword slicing zombies around. Like, you should have fun with this movie, but instead they try to insert these elements of like tragedy. Yeah, like, like the scientist movie. kicks um, the the guy. What's the guy's name? I don't remember his name. The, the little chubby guy that was running around with Aya, the swords. Uh, the bikini samurai. Man, I really didn't pay attention to that dude. I, I'll, I'll, pull up, I'll pull up the names yeah. in a minute. But I, I that dude's do. sister, that dude's sister is uh, a flame. Um, it was captured by the evil scientist guy. Mm-hmm. And he uh, like kicks her to death and yeah. then turns her into a zombie. Like, he pretty much beat her yeah. to death. Yep. And then you have. No, uh, not Saki. That's Aya's sister. And then Rico. Rico's the girl with the guns. The gun, yeah. She has this tragic story that, you know, again, these stories get glazed over. Like it's just quick, like oh this happened. Yeah, she was we don't really, too. we don't see any of it, and we don't really experience it, and there's no character connection. Yeah, because we're she, just told what these characters. She mentions it are. at a fireplace. Yeah, like when they, they start a little fire, yeah. and she mentions it, and it's like, okay, when are we gonna see this? Yeah, yeah. So like, and we don't, but we hear that she had a daughter that died uh, from from the zombies, and then we get this scene where a little girl ends up meeting up with them, and she gets killed. And like it's this whole tragic thing where she's like in tears and like having like a flashback of her daughter and yeah. like I don't want you to die this way, and it's like these serious dark tones where your main character is a girl with a sword and a bikini, in like I guess it's the apocalypse, but like from the game it looked like the game has it to where it's only in this city that the right. zombie things happening. The movie didn't really specify. What I don't know if the world was like this or just this town. No, I know. Yeah. And in the beginning, when he did the narration, See, the, it did say the entire world. Yeah, the, oh, okay. the entire world. Okay, yeah, because sense. in the PS4, you got to go all over the world killing zombies. Like, oh. it's not the outbreak. Well, see, in the in the P3, the Xbox 360 version, they kind of made a comment in the cutscenes I saw on, on YouTube. They kind of make a comment like, uh, it's only in the city. It's not really the world. Well, I think it, de- I but think it depends on what uh, game they was following. Maybe. Yeah, but it's 2008, so I don't think they were yeah. following the PlayStation 4 yeah, version. Nah, yeah, yeah. So that hard. didn't come out yet. I, right? I, think, so. I think trying to take this movie serious is like me playing Lollipop Chainsaw and trying to take that serious. Yeah, yeah and, and that's why this movie felt so weird to be taking this shit so serious. 
Because, I mean, it's, it's, it's not. You, you can't look at this. I mean, the scene where she throws off her cloak and then she's just in there in her bikini with the sword and a cowboy hat. Like, what the fuck are we doing? No, honestly, I mean, her personality, that, her, per- yeah, that she, too. She, her personality in the game and she's, is sort of like that, but she's much more outgoing. Yeah, in this she, movie, she probably had, like, maybe ten lines of dialogue. Yeah. Like, literally, like, her whole thing was just quiet. Serious yeah, face. Yeah, the stoic look. Yeah, she had the stoic look if on throughout the whole movie. If you're that dark and depressed, and you're quiet, you don't say anything, and you dress up in a bikini and fight zombies with a sword, <laughs> you have some fucking problems. <laughs> there's I, more I mean, to this story that needs to be discussed. Well, right? There's some psychological issues well, well, going maybe, on maybe here. There's, to get more in depth with it, maybe she was like second place in a bikini contest. And it's haunted her. Well, we found out why her haunting, though, is because her dad died by her sister when her sister was like eight and like killed the dad when he was like leaning down, ready to die. I'd rather much go with second place. (laughs) Second (laughs) place in a bikini contest. (laughs) But but to be honest, if a zombie apocalypse ever broke out, I think I'd want to team up with her. Yeah, Right. right. Yeah, which also was pretty funny. You know what was funny in this movie is every time they would shoot guns, when they would hit somebody, you'd see like a little puff of smoke and a little like fire thing that looked like it was like a like a little fucking graphic in a game or something in the movie. You know, you know what got just, me? Just like the sword it was slices. Like fucking, it, it, and then the sword slices with these like huge slash, which is in the game. The game, they had a scene in the game where... Uh, that's, in Devil, that's in Devil May Cry too, how they, they swing swords so fast. So you can see the slice like the little yeah, light. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. in a lot Are you, of are you yeah. saying Devil May Cry 2 or Devil May Cry 2? That's in like... All, All the devil may cry, kind of, say, where he don't, slices don't his sword and he don't say, that. okay, but the don't light, say two. The okay. light <laughs> <laughs> I think he meant Devil May Cry series also. Okay, there you could have just said that. <laughs> Calm down, Ryan. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know what the fuck to say. No, but, but, but looking at yeah, the... Uh, those little light streaks indicate the direction they slice. But, but, when, I yeah. was, but when I would see that... Well, not just that, though. Dude, she would, like, slice, and those light slices would spread out and cut zombies way yeah. far away from her. So they were actually part of like uh, some magical power like her, yeah. It, it's it's yeah. just that when I first saw that with all this, the, the graphics of the slicing and the guns, I felt like I felt like this was a PlayStation 90s game where they yeah. were using uh, full motion actors. Yeah. And they took all the cinematic scenes and they slice them together to make a movie. <laughs> it does feel it does feel that way. You're that, absolutely that's right. How I looked at it, it feels actually like a video, like a movie that was video game cutscenes put together. You're you're mm. you're right because it, it did. It was like in the oh Jesus, oh, Eric, smooth. Where's the Eric fail counter for this one? <laughs> <laughs> this would be 128. Yeah, <laughs> but no, they, they did feel like that because the movie would be like action sequence. Then a bunch of shitty dialogue. Right. Action sequence, a bunch of shitty dialogue. Flashback. Action. In fact, here, here's some dialogue of, of, like, basically this is the plot of the movie kind of explained by the characters. Woman you were looking for. I know where she is. What did you say? You know about Saki? I ran into Sugito. Like Sugito? From D3 Corporation? Yes. He's the researcher who turned this into a planet of zombies. All thanks to his reanimation experiments. According to what I found out, this Saki woman should be with him. I can take you there, but on one condition. Condition? What do you want us to do? All of them have to die. That part End of the story. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously? What, the, what, what was the what condition? All of them have to die. Yeah, that's the condition. Uh, okay. the condition. I'll only take you if everybody dies. Uh, okay, okay. Right. okay, you know me, Seth. Every time you give me a movie to watch, and I've watched it on YouTube because I'm a cheap bastard who doesn't want to <laughs> Don't pay be for stupid. credit. Yeah. Because uh, I'm always watching like Canadian versions of things. Yeah. But I watched the version where I had to read the subtitles, and that subtitle there when it's like, well, what's the conditions? And the condition is that she had to go and she wanted to kill that fucker. Yeah. You know, the, actually in these English dubs, there wasn't as much, I don't think there was as much like cursing than in the um, uh, subtitles of that's what was, was actually That's why I was surprised when I heard they, that. They, did, like, they do drop some language, but like not as much. There was a lot of F-bombs in the Japanese subtitles, not as lot. much in the English versions. So 
Yeah, that's that's it. In fact, I, I do want to bring up a comparison actually, because uh, what really killed me is is the guy's voice, the main the main guy. In fact, uh, Kevin, do me a favor. You're on the side. Get your phone and look up the character names from the Only Child Bro movie. All right, because I I can't remember this guy's name for the life of me, and I'm wanting to know what it is. Not his actor's name, the character's name in the movie. It should be on like IMDb or something like that. But um, no, th- I have this. His, his hair was blonder than Raiden's hair. And, 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 and I, I wanted to bring this. I want to bring this up in particular because I just thought this was funny. Um, here. Now, with this, when it starts playing, you hear his English voice, but listen to when he screams. It sounds just like the Japanese version because they didn't have the English guy scream. So this is the scene where he sees this zombie nurse in the hospital and he freaks out. Just me. Japanese version of this is not the American guy doing the scream. I, I feel like when which it, makes sense. You're not gonna voice over something that doesn't need a voiceover. Right, but I, still, it's funny because you hear those two different voices. I, I felt like that when that scene came up, somebody's like, "All right, hit the drop." Yeah, and, it, and it's like <laughs> when you hit your drops, it felt like somebody hit a drop on that guy. Yeah. Shit. So, uh, I'm a, hold on one second. All right, so now I got it pulled up. This is his name is like uh, what is it? Kin, Kinjinko? Ketsuji. I'm sorry. Ketsuji is the guy's name. The, the kind of chubby guy that's yeah, big guy. Aya's uh, like kind of sidekick. So but, this is this is the same scene that we just did in English and in Japanese. You hear the difference in the voice. Ooh. Cool. Yeah, it sounds more like it. Yeah. His voice is completely different from that deeper like, what are you doing? Like, and... I think he said something like, what's this shit? Or something like yeah, that. He's like, what's this? Then he's like, shit. shit. Yeah, so in this one, he said, you got to be kidding. That's actually the subtitle here. And But but what he said was like one word, like, so yeah? Or something like that. But it was that whole phrase. What, what did it so, say on the on the YouTube? Then he said question mark? You no, know, it just said, you got to be kidding. That That's what the whole subtitle was. When he goes, whole? Yeah. Yeah. That was it. The subtitle for that thing was you've got to well, be we, kidding. we've learned something today. <laughs> Paul means you've got to be kidding. You've yeah. got to be kidding. So, but I think what's interesting is like, especially with people who enjoy anime or Japanese film or Japanese stuff. Yeah. I noticed there's some people who feel like, well, I only want to watch like the original version. I want to watch the Japanese. Like I want to watch the real because some guys don't want to watch the English dub versions because I guess and from this movie, just looking at this, I can kind of see where it takes away from maybe the the movie experience because you don't hear the actor himself like because when when you say things or do things, a lot of times when you're doing them, you have certain tones in your voice or ways that you're speaking that kind of carry over more intent to what you're saying than if you got some guy dubbing you over and just trying to match what you're doing. Right. And it kind of sounds a little goofy too. Yeah. yeah, he do sound goofy and dopey. Like he does sound goofy and dopey in the English dub. Like when you hear him talking in English, it just sounds like, "Hey, what are you guys doing?" You know, like, and in the. Uh, I guess it's Japanese, right? So the Japanese version of the film, the main version, it's, you know, it sounds much more like him. Like the voice don't even match. That wasn't even Japanese. That's Taiwanese. Oh, it was? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're sorry, <laughs> Eric. Jeez. Yeah. So, sorry, Eric. But anyway, <laughs> um, 
So this movie is basically that where we got to the plot before we got sidetracked with the English comparison on it. But um, the plot from the earlier drop that we did was basically um, the D3 Corporation, which I guess the corporation is just one, one scientist person. guy. Yeah. That's Wait, the what, whole corporation. What, what's the name of the company that makes this game? Um, what is that? Because I saw in the credits of the game and then it, it said underneath it said D3 Corporation. Oh, no, no. no they, I think they're just talking about the game. But in the game, it's the D3 Corporation, yeah. I believe. So in this movie, they were saying it's the D3 Corporation that's turning people into zombies. But a corporation is one scientist guy in a lab somewhere. And I got this drop, too, Who because I thought this was hilarious. Because the scientist is by himself giving a monologue to nobody. But he's talking aloud. Like, it's one of those movie tropes. It's like, why would you be talking like this by yourself? So, let me, um... Here. What exactly is life? Cells support themselves and Remind me of how to do Is it to exist isolated from the outside world? No. Is it to be born, age, and decay? No. It's not that either. <laughs> he slammed I've him. researched this for many years, and I finally resolved it. Cells possess their own will. They mix into the blood and guide the dead to resurrection. Now, to me, that was the dumbest thing I've ever heard from science. He's like, he did this research, like, what are cells? What's the meaning of life or something like that? And um, he's like, cells mixed with blood. Yeah. Makes resurrection. And I'm like, really? Yeah. Like, no, it's, it's, it's weird. Like, the purpose of cells is to merge together to, to bring people back. To, what are you talking about? Yeah. And he's like talking to himself. But I'll tell you this. The English... Guy they got to play, I think his voice worked. I kind of liked his voice with the scientists. It had a sinister kind of feel that I think was supposed to go with the scientists. Mm -hmm. So um, I didn't mind that as much as far as like. Didn't the guy kind of look like Donnie in a little bit? Maybe if he was like 60 and let Balding, himself go a little yeah. bit. Yeah, he looked like Donnie in a little bit. And then lost all his hair. Yeah, Donnie in's long lost granddad I with do. like one fucking eye because he had like a glass eye, I think, or some shit like that. So, so you're saying he looked like the, the older It Man and the later It Man. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, Now, I'll tell you what was funny. Did you catch, you probably couldn't tell in the YouTube version because <laughs> no. it was very grainy. But in the clear version that me and you watched, mm -hmm. Did you notice the the main character Aya? She had a rose tattoo on her arm. Yeah. And it was not a real tattoo. You can clearly see it was one of those tattoos you give the kids and you put on your arm and you like wash off and then it sticks to the temporary no, no, I, tattoos. Okay, I, I did notice that tattoo. Yeah, it was a temporary. You could clearly see like it's shiny and you can clearly what, see the, the kind you get out of the gumball machine. Yes, she had that tattoo on her arm. It's like a rose tattoo. <laughs> no, you know what that is. <laughs> You know, what got, you know what got me? The chick with the shotgun. What's her name? Oh, uh, Ro uh, Ro Rosie? No, no, it wasn't Rosie. It was, uh, I just said her name earlier. Rio Riodo? Rico? Rico, yeah. Rico. 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 How yeah. the fuck did I remember that? Yeah, there you go. Bro, all job. right. Yeah, all right. Hey, how the hell you got a sawed off shotgun that shot one fucking bullet? Oh, not only that, yeah, her she, sawed she, off. Her sawed off shoots one bullet. Not right? only, no, no, she it didn't she, even reload. It didn't shoot really, really far. No, yeah, okay, two things, no. It had infinite ammo, because I never saw a reload. Reload. I never saw a reload, and then it was like a sniper rifle, because she would shoot people from way far away with this sawed-off shotgun. There's no way it was, it was, it was okay. It was terrible, okay. bro. Okay. It was terrible. Yeah. Guys, you got a sawed-off. Right. Oh. Guys, you are overthinking this. First of all, this is a video game movie. Somebody put in a fucking cheat code. It's the only way she got the camera. <laughs> it's the I only saw way. Don't be stupid. How the hell? You, how the hell you shoot somebody in the head with a sawed-off shotgun with a one bullet hole go through? 
Uh, yeah, that that makes it like that, if, that, that, if you that, get that, shot that, close range by that shotgun, bro, your not, head should explode. Bro, that should be nothing left. Bro. Yeah, that she wanted the. Uh, she shot it, bro. She shot her from like halfway across the room, bro. Yeah, she shot him in so, the head. So, and so, then in the beginning, when those guys was shooting at that zombie that was walking, yeah. they're shooting them all. Maybe just walking through, well, bro. Yeah, yeah. Let me and, walk then, and then you could see it go like ting, and you could see like yeah. a little smoke and like a little yeah. flame, well, it, like it, image it, come up, like what. Is this like this is so well, bad? I'm curious to know, Eric. Is she one of the main characters in this uh, ciabatta bread? Uh, Swim scene. <laughs> nah, she, she's not. Well, in what's the name of the game again? Only no, she, she's in the game. I no, think. No, no, not not the one I have. Not oh. the one I have. She's oh, not. So she, 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 in, 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 in the cut game, scenes I seen, she was dressed more like a cop. And in the, she's in the game. I'm pretty sure she's in the game because I'm pretty sure game. that movie was based on the game. You oh, know yeah, what I'm yeah. Well, well, yeah, it is. We wouldn't be covering it if it wasn't based on the game. Well, yeah, but it, 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 just, <laughs> it just killed me, bro, how she was shooting that gun. Like, uh, I yeah. saw it all shotgun, bro. Well, wait. One bullet. I do want to make this comment. So, the whole movie is basically this, right? So, uh, Aya wants to kill her sister for killing her dad. Right. And her sister works with the mad scientist who is the, doing research. <laughs> Sucking. About bringing people back to life for whatever reasons unknown. He's just that's what he's doing, right? So and in this movie, there's a scene where they just get done. Like there was like some kind of fight club in the beginning, mm-hmm. and they like break up this fight club that was about to get attacked by zombies. That's the opening scene. Uh-huh. Well, in the next area they go to, this guy pops out with like a crossbow and like kind of shoots at him. But then he's like, "Oh wait, y'all are human." He's like, oh, y'all better get out of here. Yeah. This guy's whole scene was to come out and say that, go in the room and fuck his girlfriend, and then die. <laughs> <laughs> that was his whole purpose in the movie. I wanted to bring that scene up. It was just because of what he fucking said. What? He came out. If I don't know if you remember. I watched the Japanese. You watched the real version. I watched the real, real version, version. The real version. It, I read his subtitle. I, 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 I read the subtitles. He came out. And you know what he told them? No. He said, y'all might not want to move around or if, or if you want to live. <laughs> and I'm like, so when he's trying, so I was like, okay, hey, that's good advice. Don't move around because those zombies will get, will yeah, see, will hear you and get yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. next scene, he's fucking this woman. Yeah. And there is a zombie <laughs> right there. And I'm yeah. like, I'm sitting there like, whoa, And bro. then he dies like that. His whole purpose was to give us a sex scene. That was it. And then right. we got to see Titty. Very awkward And then scene. we got to see Zombie Titty because then she was a zombie and came after them in a tits wild still. Mm-hmm. So, but that was the whole purpose of him was just to fuck I, his I girlfriend. Just, I just I'm, still trying to figure out, I'm still trying to figure out how the zombie was surviving all those shots from those two guys that were shooting zombies in the beginning. Yeah, and, was like and a she super, come along. Well, see, there was a couple of them. I think they were like super zombies because then... Um, uh, the the guy the chubby guy chef guy's name already the chubby guy um his sister. Kenjo Kenjo yeah his sister was like souped up and she had like a chain with a spike ball on it Wait, and she was me, like swinging it can, around can I ask you this yeah all right when I saw her in her little school outfit the chain thing did that not remind you of Kill Bill yes it did I thought of Kill Bill too when I'm I was like that is that the scene. one from Kill Bill yeah and uh, but uh, she was like a super zombie because like most of these zombies can't. Maneuver weapons and stuff. And she used so that same? guy who was like bullets were deflecting off of him. First of all, I don't know why. That was weird. I agree. I guess it's a super zombie because so there was a few of them. They had so many plot holes, bro. Like, oh was, yeah, it, most it, definitely. The plot holes was bad, bro. Yeah. Because the the who cares at, about plot holes? At the end of the have. movie, like at the end of the movie, she shot some drug into it and made a. Super strong. They didn't even explain how she got strong. No. Who cares you about plot holes? No, I actually, I don't think that was. Uh, I think that was just the zombie blood there, because he killed that guy's sister mm-hmm. that he was going to save, and then he injected the blood in her to bring her back to life. I yeah, think she, that was she, what it was supposed what to be. What happened was, I think he had some kind of, I don't know, some serum or something. Well, he needed. But he, he, use... needed he needed the the blood from that clan. What's the name of the clan? The me uh, me sushi clan, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, yeah, so he, he was like, I need this blood, you know, to make a, the perfect zombie. So yeah. He took some oh, sake. I got, I got this. I got this because this was hilarious. The scientist was looking for sake. Right there. I need a certain member of the Imichi clan. Yeah, Imichi, Imichi clan. clan. I need some research. Ah, oh, yes. Here you go. I need sake. <laughs> so did I. Where's sake? 
Saki! Saki! <laughs> now, he was saying that to nobody. Nobody was in that building with him. There was no, like, little workers running, doing stuff for him. Nothing. He just had this whole monologue about needing Saki. Then he screams for, like, where are you at? And it's yeah. like, she's way gone somewhere. Yeah, I, I was kind of wondering, was she supposed to be in that room with him? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> he was just talking to himself. And then what was the point of her killing that guy that was running? Oh, no, it wasn't a guy. It was the girl. It was a girl. That was a girl? Yeah, I think it was a girl. That no, was it was a guy. No. That was a guy. It was a guy? Yeah, that was a guy. Who cares? <laughs> oh, you know it was a guy. It was the guy that came back because the guy that she killed came back and killed the guy with the crossbow. He had that, that cut on his neck. Oh. Remember? Okay, That's the okay, guy that... Okay, okay. And then they all... They, God they, damn it. They, 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 and then they all <laughs> came in and swarmed on him and they killed the shit out of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. All so, right. yeah, but I was like... Yeah. And then I want... And then... When she had the girl hostage, yeah, she cut her in the back and she transformed. She she started to turn into a zombie. Yeah, like what the hell? So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was confused. So yeah. have we established that's that chick from Kill Bill? Is no, that scene? no, it's not. We're not gonna tarnish Kill Bill with that. So, no. <laughs> but uh, she would have made it. it, it kind of, but kinda, she yeah, the people in this movie were just doing things to do things, and there's no explanation. You just don't ask questions. You just things happen, and that's what it is. And I guess it's just for, like, the action scenes in this movie. Okay. What are y'all thoughts on the action scenes in this movie? I saw a lot I thought, of skin. I thought the action, the action was pretty, it was pretty good. I thought it was yeah. pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Like There was, was she, some, bro, like, there was some stuff where she would do these, like, slow-ass backflips, like, dodging bullets. Like, maybe. they have a fight between um, Aya and Rico mm -hmm. in the beginning. And she starts shooting, and she does this slow ass backflip to like dodge bullets. And I guess. Like moving, like and then, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. or the or the scene where when when Rico shoots her, she puts the sword in front of her face, and you see the bullet dragging on the sword. See, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, some anime. Yeah. That's some anime type stuff, right? Because mm -hmm. they do stuff like that in anime. And then it did a close up on her flat stomach, and I was just like, "All right, I'm back in the movie." <laughs> Great. Yeah. yeah. So I um, thought the end fight scene was kind of it was. Well, all right. Good, before, before, we, before we get to the end fight scene, again, with these characters, it's basically them going from one place to the next, running into like zombie characters. It was very or they, linear. Or they, yeah, it's very like, almost like a video game. You just go to this level, and then there's some people to fight. And then you go to this level, and there's some people to fight. And in between, we have cutscenes where we talk. Right. It was built just like a video game. Right. And then at the end, we have a huge fight scene where the scientist, I guess, lab is. Mm -hmm. And we have the, the big guy, Ken, Kenjo, I I think his name is, is Kenjo. Yeah. He that sneaks big, up and that big rolling motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> he fucking ran. He run around like Snake Plissken, sneaking around trying to kill a scientist. And he had, he had a hell of a time trying to kill a scientist. Yeah, he did. But he did do it with the zombies. Out, the zombie ripped that scientist's eyes out. Yeah, Boy, he, he yelled the hot. Yeah, he yeah, yelled the hell out of his fun. eyes. So okay, and we get to the end fight scene. The end fight scene is like, all right. So the the two sisters fight. Because this is what it's all been boiling down to. Because uh, Aya is mad at her sister, Saki, Saki because Saki killed their dad. Right. And apparently, the scientist killed the dad. Well, his sister didn't kill the dad, and Saki gave the final blow to kill him and went with the scientist because he was like, I'm going to make you stronger. Right. All right. Whatever. They didn't even explain how she got stronger. No, they didn't. But, you know, whatever. And, and this movie is just a... Like eighty minutes long, I think. Yeah, it's it's an hour 80, twenty. Eighty-two minutes it's like long. Just straight it's like an movie. hour twenty. Yeah, it's just a yeah. short, quick, brisk movie. So, with some weird, deep shit for no reason, you know. So anyway, um, <clears throat> we get to the end. They have their fight scene in a field, and they're like both swords people. And it's like samurai. For like. some reason, they have a fight, and like you know, of course, the hero's almost gonna lose, and then. Um, she charges up for some reason. Yeah, she powers and up. And then starts teleporting everywhere, whipping her ass. And then Saki charges up for some reason. And they start teleporting around, fighting each other. No, no, it was, like, it was Eric, like this. Is this like the video game? I, see, I haven't played the video game. I haven't even played the video game for this one. Yeah, he's only played the newer one. Uh, yeah, I played the newer one. Because that I, stuff I just, happened I just feel like we just... You said a little vile. She shot into it. 
That shit yeah. look like some ooze off of Ninja Turtles that they fucking <laughs> use on Ninja Turtles. I just, I just feel like them. this movie compared to the other video game movies where people are just like, oh, this is not like the video game at all. Yeah. I think we can honestly say it's probably just like the game. Yeah. What they, what they did get right is her costume. Yeah. They got that right. They got that oh, down. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've seen some of the images. Her costume right. Okay, was, so her, co- her costume and the on, sister's costume was on point. Was, was, was like exactly like the game's was. Yeah. Now, Rico's outfit, though, wasn't. I don't see. I we. I don't know. I, I, I'm telling you. Game. I'm telling you because I saw the cutscenes oh, where Rico okay. was in them, mm-hmm. and she was dressed more like a cop. Because oh, in the game, it takes place like in the city, and like some of the bad guys that fight are these dudes in suits. So it's like they're actually fighting a corporation in the game. So right. Where like in this movie, it was just like one scientist, and I wonder if because. Which I'm gonna pull up in a minute. The budget of this movie That's was probably was so the low. Yeah. They probably only got a handful of actors. Does yeah. that your phone keep going off? So was her costume in the game like yeah. a slutty? Yeah, yeah. Turn like notifications on. Yeah. 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 yeah, was, yeah. It, was yeah. it like kind a of. slutty cop? Kind of. Sweet. What what system is this for again? This was like 360 PlayStation Three. Yeah. yeah. Can I get and it? They had, and they had one on the PlayStation Two. Yeah, they, they probably had an older one there. The one that I think this movie based on, because the movie was 2008. So the one this movie was probably based on was... Probably 360. The, yeah, the 360 uh, one like that. But, so this fight scene, which I find hilarious, because there's always these scenes when they're like charging up, they do all this... Ah! So I cut a compilation together of all these screams. So here we go. Let me... Uh, uh, there we go. charge up screaming <laughs> so you we get this like i guess dragon ball-esque type fight scene of this movie yeah, and that, was, that was like dragon ball yeah it scene. was kind it was of like reminiscent era. of that it was like paying homage to like dragon ball yeah movie. yeah and then and another movie sucker punch oh yeah don't the main character look like i like they got the inspiration from i kind of no more like saki Cause she's yeah, got the kind of the Saki, skirt yeah, and Saki, yeah. outfit and stuff yeah, like that. Saki, but she that's had like, a samurai sword and she had this. Emily Blunt. That movie had huge lips. Yeah. Uh, oh man. Yeah. So, um, but that kind of finishes the movie. I think what she ends up killing her sister and then finally shedding tears for, for and I don't know. And, a, kinda, and, a, and a big guy's like, "You ready to go kill some more zombies?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker, you didn't even. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like, how you gonna say you ready to kill? Are you ready to kill more zombies? You didn't even kill. You only killed one zombie, and that was your sister. Yeah, for you real. ran like a little schoolgirl. Yeah, that's Every time what happened. Well, he even says that too. Like his sister got kidnapped because when the zombies came, he left. <laughs> 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 yeah. He ran. That's what he says too. He's I, I, like, oh, the zombies came and I ran. I'm so sorry, what, sister. What, what I what I thought was pretty funny about that character was his short attention span. Oh yeah, because when they're when he's at the fireplace with Rico and yeah. she's she's spilling that sad story about her daughter, instantly in two seconds he reaches over to a backpack and he's like a beer. Yeah, <laughs> he does that. Sure. He does that a couple times. He did like a little Batman. He's, like, he's like he's like talking to her like so. What's your story? Where are you from? Then all of a sudden and, he, and then like right after he says that he's like. Man, the smell of blood stinks. And, and then he starts like talking about something else again. It's like, what? His <laughs> yeah, dialogue is all over the place. Uh, that's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, so, um, it, it had like a little Batman moment where like Aya's sort of the girl that her sister slashed in the back. 
that her sister slashed in the back and yeah. um she was about to turn into a zombie. But yeah. Rico didn't want her want Aya to kill her. So she was oh, like, Oh, yeah. she gonna turn anyways and she put the gun she pulled the gun out on her, was threatening to kill her. Oh yeah, they had their, their little moment because she didn't want like she killed her daughter. That's what she says at that point. Mm-hmm. She's like, I killed my daughter and I don't want to do it again. Like she kind of like she met this girl for two seconds and all of a sudden was like, That's my daughter and then she's like, Mommy and like I mean she a mom, you know what I'm saying? She had to they, kill her daughter and this there was no setup. They did not deserve I know, that. I know, There's I know, no I, emotion I feeling. I, no, I get I get what she I get what she coming from, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't you don't have to see it to get what she coming from. But, right? but when you're telling that, a story and you're wanting the viewer to connect to have that emotional punch. I mean I'm, th- my point that, being they didn't need that crap. They should have just been funny. I, I get they should have just had fun, fun action sequences, and this movie would have been way better. The fact that they took this movie so serious. You know, I know it had a low budget. I know they couldn't do that much with it. Perfect. Just have silly fun. Recognize how ridiculous this is. They have a girl in a bikini fighting zombies and just have fun with it. Instead, we get serious tones about my sister killed my dad and I'm avenging his death. And I shot my daughter. I killed her. I don't want to kill her again. And like my sister, I had to kill my sister because I ran from her because I'm a chicken chip. I, I felt like with this movie should have not been live action but would have made this movie better two things one animated true i give you that two a hentai oh god that would have made this movie so <laughs> but much i mean better. like i mean somebody if she tell you a story that <laughs> it might that might already exist so. i mean she tell you, <laughs> oh shit i better look at eric you better look this up <laughs> i mean she if somebody tell you a story Kevin. That i had to kill my daughter for such and such a reasons you couldn't sympathize with that. You need, not, you need some kind of you need some kind of no, backstory no, no, to no, 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 no. All right, yeah, you can sympathize with that, right? But we're talking about storytelling in a movie. No, I'm not. I, I get that. I'm talking about that specific. I'm talking about that that particular scene. Well, I'm not I'm arguing the way those characters it, acted with each other. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just, just saying, as a movie, as some you're showing this to somebody. Somebody's right. gonna watch this, all right? So you want people to feel that emotional connection and understand the character. You can't do that if I you did. just have characters tell stories. I did. Well, then, then good for you. I, I did. I mean, if I if I could, I'm pretty I sure think, there's other people that I think can. I bust that out laughing at that point. You know what I'm saying? Well, Wait. hey, you, <laughs> hey, you bust out laughing. I'm saying, dude, bro, if I if I felt some kind of connection, when bro, she was like, other people get away. That, like, I'm gonna shoot you like that. I maybe mean, you I didn't bust feel, out laughing. Maybe out loud. you didn't feel connected. There was but. nothing to connect to. There was like ten lines of dialogue from almost I each get character. that, but that's your opinion, dog. But hey, I felt, I felt right. that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, sure. I mean, I wouldn't want to get put through that situation again. You know what I'm saying? Relive that moment. You know hey, what I'm saying? Hey, it don't take much to sympathize with something like that. Hey, Seth, honestly, I, I, I understand what Eric is saying. I would have connected more to this movie if it was a hentai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I don't know about the hentai for little kids. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're, you're smirking over there. You're like, yeah, he's right. <laughs> yeah, Ryan's always yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm about to pull up here on the IMDb. Why don't Ryan and Eric, why don't you give some of your final thoughts about this movie since we kind of cleared through it? Mm-hmm. Just kind of give, so Ryan, why don't you start just some of your final thoughts wrapping up this movie that Eric, you're oh, Thank you, Seth. Um, Eric, this movie should have been a hentai. <laughs> hentai? Yeah. Yeah. So, I, Eric, what is your feelings? I felt like, I felt like I said they had a lot of plot holes, you know. Yeah. I kind of got mixed emotions about this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Just not enough to make us care. Yeah. It yeah. really wasn't. So there's not much information on this movie. I'm gonna see if I can um, find. Um, like it's, I guess I'll go back to my original thing about it. It really seems like a '90s FMA cinematic cutscene spliced into a movie. I felt I, I had they had some parts where I was like, man, this is pretty cool. You know, some parts that they had. Yeah, like, I like the little the little lightning effects that when they had with the sword and when she starts slashing people and stuff like that. Uh. But other than that, I felt like hey, you could have... Remember that scene where she first shows up and then she throws off her robe and you see how half-naked she is? When she's fighting <laughs> the zombies? 
Yeah, that was pretty cool. Though. And you know, another thing too, though, like it looks like the appeal of these games. I can't find much information on anything. The only thing I have budget information, but if I had to guess a budget, it's like less than five million dollars or less than ten. Definitely, like there's you not. Think much was, you think that was even even in the millions? It might not have been. That's true. It um, might not have been. It might I have doubt, been like when the, when the movie millions, title popped up in the English version. What did it say? I'm only asking because they didn't they didn't transcribe that. I'm only asking because when I watched in in the um, in the other language, it popped up. Well, what's the name? What's the name of the thing again? Because I want to say Chupacabra. Oni Chambra. Oni Chambra. It said it said Oni Chambra Beauty. <laughs> that was the title of the movie. All right. They had like two different titles. Oh, um, apparently they're making another Oni Chambra. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Seriously? It looks like Please it. I just saw this, this article. I hope it's better. It says, another Chambra movie ditches cowboy hat and clothes. <laughs> it's a hentai. <laughs> what? No, it's, it's a live action. I, Wait, live so they ditching a cowboy hat and a clothes? All right. This is from K- Kotaku.com. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So it says, those hack and slash Oni Chambra video games have been made into motion pictures that, like the games, mix violence and titillation. Now, titillation. That's incorrect to me, right? Twice we seen the main character in her bikini fighting. Right. There was really, in fact, it was probably more modest on the sexuality. Yeah. They, there was yeah. one scene where the girl, a girl, a, a just a throwaway character girl, was naked and had a sex scene, but there was really not much. I mean, the girls kind of wore like skimpy skirts and stuff like that, but like for a game that like, I mean, it was only two girls that just wore. Like wore yeah, skin. yeah. I mean, one girl wore a bikini. Yeah, one girl. And the chick, the, the, the rest of them just really had like their cleavage out. A yeah, little she bit. Just yeah. had a little. But, but their, but their, their outfits were like really skin tight. Yeah. Okay, out on home video this month in the West. Which let me see this. Uh, oh, this is an old one back in 2010. So, so this is an old. So this is probably already out by now. Please. Because the, the movie we watched is 2008. So we might have to watch this one. All right. So there. please say it's a hentai. Uh, no, it's not. Out of home video this month in the know, West. I'm not choosing it. Chan, Chan, Chanbra Strip Tees is what you'd expect from a movie called Chanbra Strip Tees. Though the original Japanese title, Opai Chanbra, seems to be slightly more accurate. Opai means breasts in Japanese. So it's breast Chanbra. There are a couple of moments of inspired madness, the most memorable of which involves characters. Wait, wait, most memorable of which characters using their breasts to wield swords during a duel, and this helps to keep things moving along quite nicely. It's a hentai. (laughs) Wait, wait, they actually using their breasts to hold the sword? That's what they said. (laughs) This definitely got to be created by the folks that made the Oni Trauma films. The flick follows twenty-year-old Lily. So, do you know of a character, Lily? Because this character wasn't in any of the games or anything that I've seen. I feel like this is on Netflix. They said Flick follows 20-year-old Lily as she is transported back to 18th century Japan, where she learns she can increase her fighting abilities by flashing her nogs. So flashing her boobs. Her what? <laughs> she flashes her tits and increases her fighting ability. What, they call it nogs? This sounds like it's more like just a porno. Because the one we Isn't watched, that what I just said? <laughs> well, yeah, but you said a hentai. A hentai, hentai is, implies that it's animated. animated, animated and this is not is animated. Porno. This is live action. This is no. This, a hentai is sexual animated stuff. Porno is with real people. <laughs> it's, it's an animated porno. This film predates the second Only Trauma film, which was released abroad as Chanbra Beauty. It stars Curvy, you. Uh, all right. So it looks like these are more like porn, right? But like the one we watched was actually like a movie with some semblance of a plot. Yeah, it, it was really mild. There was no, there was one sex scene that lasted less than 10 seconds. Probably less than five. He should have took his own advice. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. This looks like right? they threw that away. And instead of doing story, they're just doing straight porn. Like, Dude, you have girls fighting each other with swords in their tits? Like, that is fucking bonkers. And the, the fact that it's live action is just crazy. I, I'm so curious, how is that done? No, bro. Uh, <laughs> is, it what, is it what? Asian what? girls? Or? Yeah, it's what Why'd you do that when they could just hit each other with their titties? It's starring a horde of former and current Japanese porn actresses. Trauma Strip Tease isn't directly connected to the Oni Chopper games from development. Well, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> T- Tamasoft. That's actually the name who developed... Uh, the only Chomper games. 
It's as if the producers of Chamber Beauty Flicks just made a Chamber swordplay flick with magical breasts and are trying to pass this off as an Oni Chamber film. But Not that anyone who watches really cares. I'm, I'm pretty excited for one of them to get hit in the head with a titty. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, cool. right? Go home and whack off to the soft summer rain when you watch it. So there's like a little a funny, um, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a little funny, weird behind the scenes thing. It's not really behind the scenes. It's just some other stuff that's happening with this Oni Chamber series. But there's not much innovation. There's no trivia. There's no facts. I try to look up the movie budget. I'm not seeing much on the budget. I don't think um, anyone wants to know. It, it is straight to DVD. So it's not like it released in theaters at all, um, which I'm not surprised. I mean, if, if it did, that would be I, amazing. I feel like I would find this on Netflix. Yeah. Um... Um. Yeah, uh, you ain't gonna find it on Netflix though, but you can find it on YouTube for free. It's just that the YouTube version is kind of shitty. It, you know, it's gonna be hard to see anything yeah. if you really want to watch this. You gotta movie. buy it. So let's go ahead and wrap it up and talk about how many lives we lost and finish this movie up. So um, I'm gonna say I lost probably about. First of all, how many lives do we have? I lost uh, I lost four lives. You have five lives to lose or one life to gain if it was good. If you liked it, you gained a life. If you didn't like it, you which most most of these movies you're not gonna like, typically. Video game movies are done kinda poorly for some reason yeah. or another. So you have one out of five, and if you and if it's good, you just gain a life. That's it. You know, that's how the rating system goes. So for me, I'm gonna say four. I mean the fighting scenes weren't the worst for the especially the budget. They weren't great. And there was no plot, no story. I would never watch this movie again. I didn't really care for it much. And if you're seeing, if you want to see it for for girls in bikinis, like the title says, there's other movies to watch. You see this girl maybe twice in a bikini fighting with a sword. So if your motive is to jerk off like Ryan's, then it's not <laughs> going to fit you. Watch motive. hentai. <laughs> so I'm gonna say four lives down, but I don't think it was the five not lives. Uh, death of uh, what were the two movies that killed us? Chun Li, Legend Chun Li. Well, the other one too. Oh, Double Dragons. Oh, Double Dragons. Yeah, Double Dragons. So, how many lives lost? Honestly, uh, this is actually gonna be a be a new one for me. Um, I actually lost three lives. Okay, but, but I gained two question marks. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever you keep adding shit to the rating system go ahead what's I, question marks I can, <laughs> <laughs> it's like what the fuck did I just watch was your dick confused during the movie <laughs> is that no, what the question well, mark the, is the first question mark it was me. like I want to get hard but then they're not showing me enough <laughs> well, well I mean I'm trying to be serious I, I, oh, the first, oh I'm sorry let's 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 get real thank you <laughs> the first question mark was for don't me don't be stupid uh, what the fuck did I just watch? The second question mark was from my dick saying, why the fuck is not a hit dog? <laughs> Eric, how many lives you lost on this one? Uh, I lost three lives. All right. I lost three lives because I felt like in the fights, they paid homage to like Dragon Ball Z and a lot of anime, like, and a lot of There's effects anime, from, a lot of, a lot of effects from the animes and all that stuff that you yeah. would see. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, I thought they did the main character justice by dressing her exactly like the character in the video game. Mm -hmm. And uh, her sister looked great as well. <laughs> and of course she did. Yeah. As far as the rest of the movie, yeah. 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 I hear you. Yeah, even, even the comic relief, I just wanted to punch him in the face. <laughs> then in the dick, then back in the face. Dinner's always better when it's been three days. <laughs> oh, that's what he says in English version? Yeah. I think, I think in the, uh, what, what language was this again, Eric? Uh, Taiwanese. Actually, I got a lot of I think funny clips from the scientists. Like he has this one. I don't like bad girls. Oh, he beat he kicked the hell out of that girl. The ultimate gift. I have decided to give you the ultimate gift. <laughs> and then that keep screaming where he was like, "Sake, sake." <laughs> Honestly, with that line, it made sense to me because that's what I was doing, trying to follow oh, the bottle of I got, sake I, watching this I, I got this drop, too, from the scientists. Tell me what your problem is. Tell me what your problem is. <laughs> <laughs> you probably have more of the drops I got from the from Kenjo. Kenji. Yeah. Hey, like I was saying, uh, the scene, the, when he was screaming the name Sake, it kind of reminded me to look for my bottle of sake. <laughs> watch this <laughs> yeah, I can feel that. Well, we're shutting this down. 
Uh, thanks, Eric, for your suggestion. We know where your mind's at always. Sure. And <laughs> the next movie looks like we're going to do, we're going to do the Castlevania series. So there was Sweet. four episodes on Netflix. I watched them all. Yeah. There, it was, it was. Yeah, all four. Well, all right. We're not going to speak on this. we got an episode coming for it. That's going to be our next Losing Lives topic. So, fair enough, fair um, enough. if y'all haven't yet, the, uh, Chili Dog episode is out on YouTube. Where Ryan and Eric cooked Sonic's three ring chili dogs. We did some homemade onion rings, homemade chili, and uh, it was good. We had a blast doing it. Uh, video came out good. There's some guy love here between two well, guys. Well, honestly, and- I'm not gonna really. I'm really not gonna take that much credit for the video. I'm gonna say Eric did a lot of the cooking. He just told me what to do, and I should look good doing it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Uh, but uh, that video is out. Uh, the next video we're working on, we're going to be doing Dr. Robotnik's Egg Omelet. Oh, shit. Sure. So, I will be here for that. Yeah, so. and that will be a nice, big, meaty as omelet. So that's the kind of idea of it. So we hope you all are enjoying the video content we're producing. Uh, we're trying to step up our game. We're going to have some microphones next time, so maybe the audio won't be as shitty as it kind of is. I think we've cleaned it up. The audio is not the worst, I think, but... Hopefully with these mics, it'll sound much better. And um, I'm excited to see what we get out of that. So um, thanks, guys, if you're listening, for joining us. Uh, next week, make sure you grab that Who's Next, uh, Who's Next podcast. Peace.